talking about craft distillers, we'll start with this guy here, Mr. Jeffrey Irons out of um, Huntsville, Alabama. So um, he's got a still set up in this old shopping center and uh, he's got his own, he's got one still up there. He sources all of his own grain, he makes it himself. Now his wife is the master tester, nothing gets um, bottled or finished until she gives it the word. Uh, the guy, man, before COVID anyway, would have you know, 50, 60 people lined up before he opens up to get their hands on a bottle like this. Uh, it's very oaky. It's finished in these small barrels. That's a five liter. I got the five liter barrel, which I think was five bottles. Um, so this is definitely what I would call a sipping whiskey. Being in the small barrels like that, what you get is you get, it ages like, I don't know if it's four times or 10 times faster, 20 times faster, whatever it is. It's something like six months is equal to like 10 years or something in those small barrels because of the, the amount of bourbon per surface area. So this is an interesting barrel. I um, just wanted to start off with this guy here. It's a one man, one wife shop and he makes his own bourbon and he sells out every time. So way to go, Jeff, out of Huntsville. That's right, ex-rocket scientist right there. You know it's gotta be good. All right, so let's go next. Um, I'm not really sure you'd call Jefferson's a craft distiller. Um, they just kind of did this thing where, where they're actually putting them on a boat and they put them in these barrels and uh, they, they float them around in a ship. They put them in containers in these barrels so the ship's always rocking. So if you think about a typical uh, aging house, the barrels just sit in there and it's just the temperature that changes, fluctuates, causes the bourbon to go in and out of the barrel wood, bringing the sugars and the caramels and the flavors after it's been charred. This one, they put it in a boat so the rocking motion gets the uh, bourbon stirred up. A lot of people say, um, I'll admit it, I really like this actually. A lot of people say, oh, it's overrated, that's a gimmick. But um, a lot of people do say they get, and it's probably from the sea air, but they say they get like a salted caramel on it. So it's an interesting little one. Now, another one that just blew up a couple of years ago was Old Elk, and they did these fantastic store picks. And um, to me, this this one here, it's a weeded bourbon from Old Elk. If you see one, grab it. I mean, it's around the $60 price point, give or take, right? So, uh, okay, here's another fantastic little craft distillery. Wilderness Trail. If you haven't heard of Wilderness Trail, come out from under your rock. These guys here have just done such an amazing job. They are a class act. Uh, you can get their six year now. They started releasing, I think it was a four year. Um, this one's a rye, a store pick. This one here, in fact, the name of this one here is a Lemon Icebox Pie. That's right. So it's a rye, so it's got the um, it's got a lemon note in it, it's got that rye note in it, it's got that uh, mintiness in it. But yeah, that's good. As you can see, we've enjoyed that. Um, what else we got here? All right, all the way from Breckenridge, Breckenridge, Colorado. So these guys here, they add snow water to it. Now, I'm not 100% sure. Look these guys up, mate, because they this is, this is such a good bourbon. In fact, we're going to give it a quick pour. So what's really interesting about this one here is it does not have any of that any mineral note whatsoever you know people talk about dickel and dickel's got that minerally note in it um, which is not a bad thing if you if you don't mind that i don't mind it at all but this one has nothing at all as far as a dusty corn or a minerally note in it that is so clean it's a crisp clean bourbon a new Pensacola glass. Ah, what else have we got in here? Um, oh, here's a true one. This is New York City's oldest whiskey distillery. And I know that because I just read it on the label. This is Kings County Distillery. Um, what I did notice about this one is it's a very interesting bourbon. It's um, also very similar to Irons. One, in that it had a lot of oak in it. Um, I guessed when we were tasting and doing tasting notes, I guessed that it came in small barrels. I looked up their website and that's exactly what they do. So um, I was able to pick that out, just a little bit of oakiness in it. If you like oak, um, it's a pretty dark whiskey. It's 90%, got pretty good flavor in it. But uh, yeah, this is the oldest. Let me read it again. New York City's oldest whiskey distillery. So how cool is that? Kings County. All right, now here's, here's one that's getting really popular. Blue Note. 
So they're out of Memphis. They've they've sourced Tennessee whiskey, which I'll bet is Diggle, and they've done some really good. You don't get so much of that minerally note on it. Um, they also get some stuff out of Kentucky. This one has a single barrel select, 112 proof. Uh, it's a 10 year, so most of these are nine years. This one was a 10 year, and I really like it. This is their newer one. I wish I had got the barrel proof when I had the chance. I didn't. This is your normal 93 proof. Um, it's straight bourbon out of Kentucky. These guys, man, keep your eye on these guys here. You're going to start seeing a lot of stall picks. And they age it in Memphis, so that's a really cool story. Uh, Bib and Tucker, man. You guys know about Bib and Tucker. This is six year, 92 proof. This is a fantastic pour. It's got a funky little cork in it. It comes with a shrink wrap so the cork can't pop out of it. But yeah, these guys are cool. Uh, here you go. Here's one of the more popular ones. It's This one here is kind of like Wilderness Trail, but uh, this is a really, really popular. These guys, New Riff, they came out and what they did was they waited. They aged their own whiskey. They waited for four and a half years before they poured it out. And they have blown up and everybody wants a barrel proof store pick, whatever, from um, New Riff. Uh, Mastertons. So this is a 10 year straight rye. So you don't see a whole lot of Mastertons, but what you'll see is you'll see them. They've got some stuff out there. They have this, the little spiral wood sticks in there for aging and you can leave them in there and they continue to age in the bottle. That's pretty cool. So some of these uh, craft distillers, they do something that's a little bit out of the ordinary. Um, Clyde Mays. So they have a long history. And uh, one of the guys I know here, right here in Scottsboro, Alabama, where I live, he was related to the um, to the, to these guys here. His it was his great great grandfather or something like that. So every year, why they call it Alabama style whiskey is he was making his whiskey. He was putting it in barrels, and then he was putting apples in there with it. And it was just it was like one of the first finished bourbon whiskies out there and they put these apple cores in there and around Christmas time he'd release it and it just blew up and everyone wanted some so now uh, this one here's a single barrel from them um, six year and man it blew my mind it is so dang I'm good ah, now one of my favorites is this one here Yellowstone so Yellowstone's kind of a little craft distillery. They'll have small batches, small barrels. They'll split their bottles up between one shop and another. So um, you might find the same batch in a different shop. But what I really like this and what's cool about this is I love that show Yellowstone on TV. You know, when they wanted Kevin Costner and dude, they're crazy. But um, I love to grab this bottle here and pour a bottle of whiskey and sit down and watch that show because during the show, they're sitting there and they're drinking their whiskey and they're talking and they're hanging out by the fireplace up and um, where is it? Yellowstone, obviously, uh, on their ranch up there. So, so anyway, there's there's a few of my um, craft distillers. Uh, some of my interesting ones. I got some Rebel Yell up there. I got some High West, which is kind of getting bigger now. Smoke Wagon was kind of a craft distiller. They're blowing up. Uh, so yeah, everybody's blowing up, man, because these um, big big distillers they can't make enough. So these guys are jumping in there. Oh, wait. I'm gonna be right back. I forgot my main my main craft distiller that I oh, just that just blows my mind. I'll be right back. Ready count to three. Alright, so here we are, we're right back here, and these ones I get so excited about. And I'm going to collect every freaking one of these. They got the Cave Hill. They got the Boxer Grail. They got some special releases. They got these single barrels. Now look up rabbit hole single barrels. They've done it after like Alice in Wonderland. And they've got their characters. And an artist did it for them. And they're so freaking cool. So um, give a shout out to my boy Adam. Adam, if you uh, are lurking out there and you're watching this, man. Coolest guy. He's like the uh, brand ambassador. He's always teasing us, man. He'll... He'll be walking around and he'll got his glass and you'll see him stick it right under the barrel as they're pouring out and he'll be like, this is the way to drink bourbon. Uh, really cool cat, man. Really good guy. So, yeah, so we really hope to do some really cool stuff with Adam and Rabbit Hole in the future with uh, Bourbon Life Nation. Uh, that's right. So under 60 and you can get most of these. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to confess this is not an under $60 bottle, but it's finished in sherry casks. Uh, that is sherry not port yeah px sherry cask and this one here is just one of my favorites it's almost like one of those brandy snippets all right so i'm gonna um sign off now and uh thank you all for joining me really looking forward to seeing everybody sharing this week 
uh, everybody on on Bourbon Life Nation under 60, they're all sharing their uh, craft distiller stories, pictures, who's their local, and uh, there's so many I'm seeing that I've never even heard of before. So uh, keep sharing those on Thursday. Make a craft distiller, you're poor. Cheers to all of these guys here that continue to put out awesome products, challenge the big establishments, and um, yeah, man, keep an eye out for these things here. You'll quite often see these guys put out a uh, single barrel here or a single barrel there, and they're fantastic. Boy, I'm spoiling myself now. I kind of went off the reservation again. A little bit off the reservation, there's a little over 60, but you guys, forgive me, right? It's so good. Cheers, I'm out. Bye.